Yes, I'm Peter O'Hare and I'm the Head Occupational Therapist here at, at Bethlehem. I run the main occupational therapy department. I've worked in the Trust for 33 years. Uh, I started at the Maltzley, but most of my time I've actually been here at Bethlehem. I started as a Band 5 OT, working on an acute ward at the Maltzley. I worked with a range of specialisms, eating disorders, neuropsychiatry, self-harm, uh, a unit for uh, mental health workers. And uh, so yeah, quite a wide variety of experience. And now I manage the department, which means I'm mostly managing the other staff now. But I have to ensure that all our wonderful facilities that we have here are maintained and are used, you know, made the best use of for the benefits of the patients. We have such a wide variety of activities we can offer people. So we allow people to find the activities that are meaningful, important, give them value, give them confidence all kinds of things like that, you know, so a really important role to play um, because there are bits of the healthcare system that sometimes get a little bit left out in the immediate crisis, but they are so fundamental to people's ongoing well-being and ongoing mental and physical health. discovering activities maybe they haven't done before and then blossoming at something or rekindling old activities they once had uh, and yeah, get a sense of people, yes we can survive our mental health issues, we can get back to living a normal life, I can create amazing things, there's so many, so many different things on a daily basis you can have a different, you know, result, somebody making the music, somebody the tapestry, you know, somebody just learning how to get online and play games or something, you know, it's just endless. So, I mean, we really have extensive facilities, which we're very proud of still. We have a big woodwork workshop for the men's shed meets. We have a big ceramics workshop and a maker space beside it, which was actually the original Bethlehem Gallery, where we showcased the kind of artwork that happens. Here we are in the middle of our lovely art studio. You can see some nice examples of artwork um, and a nice new IT room which we're just chisen up to be sort of state-of-the-art digital stuff, gaming and all kinds of things which is really exciting for us. We have a music studio which is fab as well because um, often it's not feasible to be doing loud music on wards so you know people can come over here, bang the drums, do electronic stuff, rapping, we do Bollywood dancing at the moment, uh, other stuff like that. The kitchen is amazing and um, that's where they make all the jams and dried fruits if you might see on sale from that. Um, stuff from the garden and of course the wall garden itself and the orchards which we uh, work on. We'll be having the big um, uh, juice making quite soon for the harvest so we're really excited about that. So uh, yeah, all these facilities are part of our service. It's great to find there are lots of new routes into the profession now, and particularly the apprenticeship route. So that's becoming much more popular and it's funded a lot more. So it's an opportunity for people, particularly in our own trust. We've quite a few now, new starters actually. So that's one good way of getting in, you know, because you're paid obviously as part of the apprenticeship. So that's a really exciting opportunity. But there's still also a range of traditional training routes as well. So um, the South Bank is our nearest, um, but there's quite a few other local universities around the London area and the South of England area, um, so there's plenty of opportunities. <laughs>